Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name is Landon, and here we play Jank. Uh, today, although we will not be playing Jank, we will be opening up a couple of gifts that my wife bought for the channel to open here, um, mostly because she gets to keep the pin while I get to keep the cards. Uh, <laughs> uh, these are the first... Uh, products from Scarlet and Violet. Uh, they do not have any Scarlet and Violet packs in them. Uh, they do have these promo cards, though, do, 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 of the first partner Pokemon. Uh, each one has a unique one, and then the others are kind of copies. And yeah, you, you kind of see the picture here. I think you guys understand. They also come with the jumbo of Coridon and Maridon uh, EX. Uh, but they're the uh, early showings of them, where it doesn't have the typing, it doesn't have energy costs, it doesn't have a lot of information. So, we've got all three here. we got Sprigatigo, Fui Coco, and of course, Quaxley. And, because grass types are the best types, we will start with Spr Sprigatigo. Um, I'm actually probably going to open um, these boxes and take the packs out and I'll just leave the packs and then we'll go through all the packs at the end. Ugh. But we'll definitely take a look at these promo cards here because these are the first cards in English to be printed with the silver borders, which I know a lot of people are excited about. Ugh. Get rid of that. All this plastic here. I wish they figured out a better way to do all their products here. Oh, code card, which will be used by the time this video goes out, but, you know, still don't like to show it off because what if I forget or something? But I promise you I won't. But what if I did? Well, I won't. Uh, there's the Jumbo, the Crydon Jumbo. We got two packs of Silver Tempest and two of Brilliant Stars. Nice. Those are some pretty good sets. So, And the Sprigatigo pin, which is a little difficult to see because of the glare, but I think you see it there. These cards feel different. I don't have a card on me right this second, but they feel different. Maybe it's a weird effect. All right, let's get Fui Coco up and open. Now we did get a Crydon in the Fui Coco, but we got a Maridon in the uh, Quaxley. So we got the two different Jumbos. They're kind of random. They're they're not guaranteed. So, to be different or anything. So, it is possible that you end up with, um, if you buy all three of these boxes, you could end up in a situation where you have um, all three of the same jumbo. Which kind of sucks for some people, but, you know, it is what it is. Watch out. Promos again. That code card. Get rid of the plastic. Okay, are all of them two Silver Tempests, two uh, Brilliant Stars? Because that'd be pretty nice, actually. Yeah. There we go. Get rid of that. Quaxley! Here you can see the Maridon EX Jumbo. We got these promos. Uh, 
All right. There is the Maridon promo. There we go. Not bad. The jumbos, I'm pretty sure, are the new standard size, so they should fit in a binder. The jumbo binder that they came out with. Here, let's put that right there. And again, two Silver Tempest, two Brilliant Stars. Those are good sets. All right. And our Quaxley pin, which Qua the Quaxley pin is like, I think the most unique. He's got like a pose going on where like Sprigatigo is just kind of standing there looking back. Fui Coco is just sitting. But Quaxley is like, you know, what, dancing? Probably dancing. That's not bad. And then let's take a look at these promos a little bit closer, I think. We've seen the jumbos, so we can move those there. And I will actually flip them to the back. Now, these promos you probably can't put into a jumbo card deck. Um, you know, that meme that happened a little while ago. So we've got Quaxley, we've got Sprigatigo, we've got Fui Coco. We got Sprigatigo, we got Fui Coco, we got Quaxley. We got Fui Coco, we got Quaxley. Oh. Interesting. I must have had these a little bit confused, I guess. And. Oh! All three of the Sprigatigo are the same. I didn't think they were supposed to be. Huh. Okay, well. There we go. We've got. See, these two Fukokos and these two Quaxleys are the same. All three Sprigatigos are the same. Uh, and we've got a different Quaxley and a different Fu Coco. Is it random? I thought the Sprigatigo box had a special art promo Sprigatigo, and the other two had the regular Sprigatigo cards. Um, where, like, even the attack is different here. Uh, yeah, this is promo three. That's promo two. I think our Sprigatigo box came with a Quaxley promo. Interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, these silver borders definitely look nice. Alright, so. We've got six Brilliant Stars packs that we will go through. And try to go through them as quickly as possible. Now, I know I've been doing a lot of product opening on the channel. Don't worry, I do have some other videos that are cooking. Uh, not just the gameplay ones, but some other specialty ones. Uh, just product openings are... First pack open, Shroomish. Beautiful. Shroomish Breloom's one of my favorite Pokemon, so that's why I say that. Uh, what was I trying to say? Something about how I'm doing a lot of product openings. And those are more time sensitive than uh, other types of videos. So that's why these ones keep happening. I keep getting uh, product. Like I have my Crown Zenith ETB coming because that's a collector set. So that's one that I want to go for. It's a special set. So I did end up buying that one. So we've got that coming. That will probably be Saturday's video. And then... The following Wednesday, I'm hoping to get a opinion piece out, and we'll see what happens. So we've got Shroomish, Pitplup, Turtwig, Sneasel. Here, let me put them up a little bit higher so you guys can see the beautiful art. Clink, a Reverse Hollow Ultra Ball. There we go. Wormadam as the rare. Electric Energy, Luxio, Hitmontop, Magma Basin. Okay, nothing too great here. A uh, Magma Basin is pretty good for any fire deck that you want to build. Um, and Ultra Ball is in so many decks now nowadays. Oof. 
hiccups. But nothing really major pulled there. Let's keep going with these Brilliant Stars packs. There's that. Code the card there. Bring it up to the camera. Yeah, see that? That's a little bit better. We got Turtwig. Encino. Carablast. Boozel? Bo Boozel? Halucha. Reverse Hollow. Team Yells. Cheer. Whoa. This is the uh, full art Sharon's Care. Holy cow. That just looks so good. Come on, focus camera, focus. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. That is the type of card that someone in the comments are, is going, Why didn't you sleeve it? Why? And uh, I don't know where I have sleeves. Um, we got Friends in Galler. We got Weavile. And Fracture. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, why did I just laugh? My beautiful wife is actually helping me with this opening. She's just off camera, and she just slid me a pack of sleeves. So I can actually sleeve up this Sharon's Care. Thank you. And it's the Brilliant Star Sleeves, so that's very thematic. Open Sesame. There we go. He is a handsome boy. We'll put that right up there. A little blurry because of the way that we're doing all this, but, you know. I like how it auto focuses right on the mat. Food Coco, Sprigatigo are coming in nicely. Oh, a spirit tomb, you say? All right. We got this. Come on. Look at this. We got spirit tomb. Axu. Impedid, Magmar, Riolu, Motham. The rare is Garchomp. Huh. Well, it's a stage two, so no one cares. Uh, Blunder Policy. I really like Blunder Policy. Another Luxio and Hitmontop. That's funny. I think those were my last two cards of an earlier pack in this video. Nothing too crazy in this one. Um, this Spirit Tomb is not the one that I like. So. Uh, yeah, it's got a colorless attack that makes the defending Pokemon weakness uh, darkness until uh, the end of your next turn. And it's like, yeah, but... You only do twice as much damage with weakness, so if you just attack twice, that would actually be more beneficial than doing that effect than attacking the following turn. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. Next pack. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. Riolu. Starly. Magmar, Spirit Tomb, Burmy, Reverse Hollow Magmar, Grim Snarl, okay, V Star Card, Grodel, okay, that's pretty good, Prinplup, and Monferno, all in the same pack, the Stage 1s of the Gen 4 starters, that's pretty cool. Doesn't really make the pack any good, but that's pretty cool. And I really hope Sharon's Care isn't like the only hit that we get, you know? 
But we've only got two more packs of Brilliant Stars. So, let's see. What do we get? That out of the trash. Oh, that code card was put in backwards. Oh, I already see that this is going to be another hit. So, come on camera. Focus up. Focus up. Focus up. Baltoy. Can you not see his face? Alright, so Baltoy. Mincino. Chimchar. Chimeco. Golet. Hey, Bilburiel. That's actually a really good card. Reverse Hollow, too. And. <gasps> Charizard V. No one cares about Charizard. Uh, Ace Rollers Premonition. Really good card, actually. Sigalith. And Pot Helmet. Alright. Kind of whatever. The Bibriel's nice. Get some draw off that card. Last Brilliant Stars pack. Ugh. I know people like Charizard, but... I just don't. My favorite types are grass types, so clearly I wouldn't like a fire type, right? And it being the Gen 1 starter just adds fuel to that fire. Alright, camera, come on. You can see Farfetch'd, right? There we go. Farfetch'd. Execute. Grimer. Clefairy. Badoof. Wormadam. Tornadus. Actually, pretty good ability there. A fire energy. Bear Tick. Collapse Stadium. Luxio. And Collapse Stadium is actually a pretty good card, too. Alright, so we're getting really playable cards. That's the benefit of uh, Brilliant Stars, is a lot of it's playable. So that's that's nice. On to the latest set as of the recording, Silver Tempest. Here, I can just move these cards out of here. Get them out of here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Silver Tempest. There's only one money card. I don't think that's true, but you know, it's all about the Lugia, right? I actually don't really care about money cards and all that stuff. You know, I don't really resell my cards that much, so... Alright. Look at it! Look at it! Okay, there we go, it focused. Do biter. Ponyta. Venonat. Rolts. <laughs> Spinda. Uh, this Spinda is actually what I built a deck on. If you haven't seen that deck, look it up. It is an awesome deck. Reverse Hollow Litten and Earthen Seal Stone. I used that in the Fossil Jank deck. Also a really fun deck. Metal Energy. Arkin evolves into the problem with L Lugia. <laughs> uh, Lance and Sir Pluth. So you got a little opinion there. Archaeops is the broken card. Lugia is okay. Like, it's a really good card. It wouldn't be the problem it is today if it weren't for Archaeops. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Silver Tempest. Pack two. There we go. Mm, get the trash out of here. Focus up. Focus up. See, I need the autofocus because I do things at different levels, so I need the autofocus, even though it's not your friend all the time. Clink. Growlith. Pikachu. Patel. Togedemaru. Ooh, that is a beautiful Pissimian. Oh, 
that's one of those character arts. So it replaces the reverse hollow. And Pissimian was one of my first top tier net decks <laughs> from uh, Sun and Moon. So check out that deck if you haven't. It's fun. It's basically Phalanx from uh, Sword and Shield, or I think it was Rebel Clash or something like that. But yeah, beautiful card. That's getting the sleeve. Uh, Metagross. Is that a V-Star card? Yes, it is. Jinx. Uh, Jinx is pretty good stall ability there. Toxicroak and Dragonair. Oh, and my code card. Forgot to remove that. All right, Passimian, you get a sleeve. And with that Pikachu and Togedemaru in the pack, I could probably... I don't know, maybe I can build... Um, oh, thank you. Uh, maybe I can build the uh, the Electric Mice deck. Do, do. So we've got two cards that are, uh, you know, noteworthy. Sharon's Care, Full Art, and Pissimian, Character Rare. Do, 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 do. Do 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 There is the trash. There is the code code. Focus up. Marini. Indeedy. Fancy. Sunkern. Baltoy. Alteria. Frostlass. That's Frostlass that I built a deck with. Yeah, that's a good one. Fire energy. Uh, Drac Cloak. Worker. I've seen Worker a lot. I'm not sure if it's a good card. I mean, it's good for Stadium Hate, but how many people want Stadium Hate? I don't know. And Sunflora. I have wanted to build a deck around Sunflora so badly. However, I can't find a unique way to do it. If anyone has any ideas, let me know in the comments. But it just feels like every other Sunflora deck that I've seen out there already. Because it's such a straightforward strategy that there's not really room to make it unique that often. Sadly. Plus, if you want to be, like, relevant, you always kind of chuck in, you know, uh, Radiant Greninja or Radiant Charizard and, you know, all that stuff. Alright, there's that Spinda. Spinda's gonna spin. And we're gonna see what we pull here. There we go. Spinda. Pikachu. Noibat. Togunamaru. Sandile. Fimpy. And Armad Armadillo. Or Armaldo? I don't know how to say that. Ar Armando, I think. Um, this one, the pre-evolution of this, I think has a really cool attack. Um, but it's really hard to keep using it. Grass Energy. Matang. Toxapex. Lance. Do 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 do. It's oh, got that Pikachu Turgon Maru again. <laughs> Gonna have plenty of those cards. All right. Only two packs remaining. Um, the way I did this, these are probably from the Quoxy box, but we'll see. Let's see. Chime Echo. Phoebus. Finnegan. Spinarak. Beldum. Araquanid. Clank, clank. Metal Energy. Honch Crow. 
All right, this is the uh, good one, the one that I built a deck around. Right you. Further on. All right, so we really need to come up with a good one in this last pack. Send us off right, you know? We got a character art and a full art. Those aren't... I mean, we got a Charizard V, I guess, but, like... That's not too great, you know? Alright. It's a black background, so... Or a code card. So, I know those things are, like, way different for different reasons, but... You know, we'll see. So, let's see. Fletchling. There we go. Pimpy. Dreepy. Baneary. Rodom. Venonat. Or Venomoth. Omastar V. So if we were building the physical uh, jink, fossil jink deck, this Omastar V would actually be extremely useful. Hey, look. Dedenne. Braxton. Morpeko. So we got Morpeko. We got Dedenne. We've gotten Pikachu and Togemaru in other packs. That was it. I mean, these two are the main takeaways, plus the promos. Now, I do want to compare something. Feeling this to this. This card feels so much thicker. It doesn't look thicker, but feels thicker. Now, it could be the hollow, maybe? Here, if we grab, like, a reverse hollow... Reverse hollow compared to Quaxley. Near identical, but I do think the Quaxley is still a little thicker. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But, you know, let me know down in the comments what you think of these boxes. Do you think they're worth it? 20 bucks a pot? You know, get all three? So, you know, all that? I, I'm still weirded out by the way that... We got two promo Quaxleys. Was it... Like, I could have sworn it was supposed to be one promo per box for the Pokemon sort of thing. Well, whatever it is, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to the, to the channel if you like this sort of content. We do have another um, opening probably coming out Saturday. Depends on if I get my box which has shipped already. So as long as I get my box, I'll do an opening on uh, Saturday. And then next Wednesday will probably be my next opinion piece if you are looking forward to that. I know I am looking forward to recording it. Uh, I don't script anything ever, so hopefully it's entertaining. Um, and, you know, of course, until next time, keep playing jank.